Thank you for trying out Vectorworks 2016. To help you get the most out of your evaluation, we want to make sure your first experience with Vectorworks is a smooth and easy one. This video will walk you through the entire installation process, step by step. First, if you downloaded the installer, locate the downloaded zip file and then unzip it. This can normally be found in your downloads folder on both Mac and Windows. If you are installing from a DVD, go ahead and insert the DVD now and open the contents of the DVD. Then, double-click on the Vectorworks 2016 installer application. The Vectorworks 2016 installer will open, then click the Next button to begin the installation process. At this time, you will need your 2016 serial number. You should have received an email with your evaluation serial number. The serial number will start with VWEVAL-21. Go ahead and enter your serial number in the Serial Number field. Make sure to include the dashes and that there are no extra spaces before or after the serial number. Then enter your name and company information and click Next. Please review the license agreement, then choose I accept the agreement and click Next. The next page will display the README document. Go ahead and review this information. This will include information about known issues, system requirements, and other common questions. When you have finished, go ahead and click Next. Here you can choose the install directory. This is the location where the Vectorworks 2016 application will be installed. This will automatically populate with the default location on both Mac and Windows. If you would like to change this location, do so now, then click Next. Now we are ready to install. Go ahead click Next to install Vectorworks. The installation will take a few minutes to complete. Once the installation has finished, you will have two options. First, you can choose to download and install the content libraries, as well as the option to open the registration page. We will go ahead and leave both of these options checked. However, you can choose to skip the installation of the content libraries at this time, as well as the registration process. To download and install the content libraries later, simply launch Vectorworks, go to the Help menu, and choose Download Content. Go ahead, click Finish. As you can see, the registration page and the Vectorworks Package Manager have both opened. You can go ahead and fill out the registration information and then click Submit. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Vectorworks Package Manager. Here you can download and install all of the additional content available for your version of Vectorworks. You can choose to install a specific library for a specific product, all of the libraries for a specific product, or choose to install all of the available libraries. When you click Install, you will notice a progress bar indicating the download and the install progress. When the process completes for a specific library, the individual install button for that library will change to display installed. The library files will be installed in the Vectorworks 2016 folder under Libraries. Once you have installed all the libraries that you wish to install, you can go ahead and close the Vectorworks Package Manager. If you choose not to install some of the libraries at this time, Remember, you can always reopen the Vectorworks Package Manager by simply going to the Help menu in Vectorworks and then choosing Download Content. Now it's time to launch Vectorworks. On Windows, you can simply double-click on the Vectorworks 2016 shortcut that was created on your desktop during installation. On Mac, navigate to your Applications folder. Then, in the Vectorworks 2016 folder, just double-click on the Vectorworks 2016 app. To help you get started with Vectorworks, we have many different training and support resources available. If you're just starting out with Vectorworks, I would suggest to take a look at our Getting Started Guides. We have individual guides for each product. We offer both video-based tutorials as well as PDF guides freely available to all Vectorworks users. Also, for 24-7 support, check out our Knowledge Base and Community Board. Here you can find answers to common questions or even ask a new one. Then head on over to the Vectorworks YouTube channel. You will find video tech tips, news, and other informative videos about Vectorworks here. You will find links to all of these resources below this video. You should now be up and running with Vectorworks 2016.